Hello, it's Teddy Ann here in my Saturday Best. I thought it'd be a good idea to share with you how we set up an ANOVA analysis, in part because it's a little bit confusing in SPSS. Um, this is certainly something I would have done had we, we been together on Wednesday or Thursday night, but instead we got frozen out. So with that, let me get rid of Teddy Ann and let me bring up SPSS. Here we go. I'm in the salary database, and what I want to do is I want to do an ANOVA uh, between um, a few variables and to see what their impact is on beginning salary. Now, I want to show you what you don't do, even though it seems like you ought to. Go to Analyze and go to Compare Means, and in this list you had a one-way ANOVA. If you would have clicked on that, it would have given you this box, and you would have been tempted to use this to be able to answer your, your questions for, um, for uh, week five's assignments. But this isn't the right one, because this is a one-way ANOVA, and we're looking at two-way ANOVAs for our assignment. What's the difference? A one-way analysis of variance is looking at one simple factor, um, and then seeing what other factors or what other, what other variables might be interacting with that factor. In this case, what we're going to be looking at is, um, is a, a single variable that's going to be our dependent variable, and we're looking at all the different ways that it might be impacted um, by many different variables. It's not unlike a regression analysis. In fact, they're very similar. So I'm going to get rid of this. That's not what we want to do. Instead, we want to go to Analyze, and I'm going to go to General Linear Models, and, and the assignment tells you to go to these places. We're going to go to Univariate, because I'm going to have one uh, a, a variable that I'm going to look at, so one variable. In this case, I'm looking at beginning salary, so I've put beginning salary in the dependent variable spot. And a couple of factors that I'm going to look at are work experience and educational level. Uh, remember when we did some of the uh, cross tabs before, we looked at these two things, and we know that they have an impact on beginning salary. But now I'm going to look at not just if they have an impact, but I'm curious about how strong of an impact they are. So I haven't done anything over here. I don't have to. The only thing I would have double-checked was options to make sure that we're at the um, 0.05 confidence level or 95% confidence level and an O5 alpha level. So we're there, continue, and I'm going to run my ANOVA. And here it goes. Um, the first thing it'll do is it'll spit out all of these um, between subject factors, which we don't have to concern ourselves about. And as I keep going down, it adds to that list. We don't concern ourselves with that. We get ourselves all the way down to the regression equation or the ANOVA equation. It's the test of between subjects effects is what we're going to look at. And what it's saying here is it's created an equation that's looking at the impact of beginning salary based on these different uh, factors. And what it's telling me in looking at this, and I'm, I'm focusing on the p-values here, what it's telling me first is that work, which was work experience, has a significant impact on beginning salary. It's also telling me the educational level has a significant impact on, be, on, um, on beginning salaries. And it's telling me that the two of them together does not have a significant impact. Well, what does that mean? Well, what it's actually saying is that you don't need both. One or the other works just fine in explaining the differences in beginning salary. And that shouldn't surprise us because we did before look at a strong correlation of the, the, the job categories, that's what work is, the job categories, and, or excuse me, we, did, we had done, looked at this before and we'd seen that these were impacted. But I'll, let me look at one more thing. So we get an adjusted R of, uh, let's just use the R squared, of 94.6. It's telling me that 94% of the variance that we find in work in, in beginning salary is explained by these two variables, work and education level. But now let's look at this again. Analysis, or analyze, general linear models, general linear models. I got it, oops, wrong one, sorry. Analyze, 
general linear model, univariate, there we go. Um, this time I want to take out work experience and I want to get rid of education. Well, I'm going to leave education level in there and I'm going to put in um, the job cat because that's the one I was remembering that we worked on before. We saw that there was a huge impact on a, a correlation between job category and beginning salary. Let's see if that plays out in the, in the uh, ANOVA. I'm going to get all sorts of data here. I'm going to skip through it. Um, and what I get here now is a model that says that educational level is significant. So is job category is significant as is the two of them together. So these are, um, and it's accounting for 85% of the differences in, in uh, beginning salary. So this model is doing a little bit better work than the one that we had before. So we know that it's really good to have education level and job cat in, um, in our equation to try to figure out what is uh, impacting beginning salary. Keep in mind, we've got this 85% um, uh, explanation, but let me look at this one more time. What if I run it on just the job category? So analyze, I'm going to go back general linear model, univariate. I'm going to get rid of level, educational level, and let's run it with just that one, that one variable. And, I, and look at it's just as good, but our explanation goes down a little bit. Now I'm only accounting for 74% of the variance that I'm seeing in there instead of 84. So what we're discovering is that it's important to have both of those variables in there, job category and employment level. And that gives us the best explanation of what's going on with beginning salary. So I hope this little demonstration helps to, you to understand how you use the tool called ANOVA that looks very much like multiple regression. They're very, very same.